Felicia Toy Boy. It's F I B E L L A. Back to in the media since then. But that initial story is on six people. You know what I mean? Whereas you have these people on her live blog. Yelling in person. Or getting it as it's happening. People can see for themselves what's going on. They can make their own decisions. Instead of having a narrative check that was so long as it's happening with the mainstream media. So I really appreciate everybody on her live blog. Because like I said, it's. I ought to get nervous if all the live bloggers are gone. And even the police. At Funky Cow is his Twitter. They've been, they've been targeting live bloggers. You know what I'm saying? Because of that very reason. Because they know that they have to be accountable. That live bloggers are kind of like call monitors. You know, you're not going to be out here just doing whatever you want to do because you have people that are filming you the whole entire time. It's, it's keeping them accountable. The ACLU, they're not they're not going to, to these news corporations and asking them to give them video. They're asking us to give them video. You know what I'm saying? They're asking people who are live streaming, the people who are on social media networks, to give them video and to give them pictures to build a case because they know that they'll get the real from everybody out here. And they're not getting the real from these, you know, major news networks. So again, live streaming, I think is is very important to the and I think that it, I, I hope that it continues to the very end. I hope people that are out here live blogging and live streaming don't get weary of it, especially the people, especially the ones who are not from first. You know, I, I hope I hope that everybody stays and sees it through to the end. You know, how do you think it impacts people like me? So I mean, you know, people that are not here are constantly watching live stream and tons, tons. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it's funny because I was just talking about how, you know, being out here feels so different than if you were, you know, watching via Twitter or something like that. Because I've been out here, you know, every night. And I just, last night was really the first time I actually had a chance to see it from that side, you know, to see the live streams, to see the pictures that are rolling in in real time or whatever. And it makes all the difference. It makes all the difference because why everything was popping off out here, we were getting minute by minute updates. We were getting minute by minute video. They weren't even talking about it on, on CNN. They're talking about you know China and ISIS, like stuff that's not happening out here right now every day. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a crisis going on in our own backyard. So, like I said, it's it's important. The only the only worry that I have about the live streaming, and I think it's really the only one, is what is what is it going to look like once shift comes because a lot of people myself included believe that 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 he's going to walk without even being invited it's going to change the whole spirit it's going to change the whole demeanor everything that happens out here will be totally different once that happens like right now it's cool you know what i'm saying we people are upset but at the same time we can laugh we can joke or whatever and we can protest with the spirit of you know we just want justice but once it's official that we're not going to get that justice and i'm sure that it'll be a civil case and i'm sure you know those type of things will take place and that's fine but nobody's going to want to hear that once the state says you know we're not going to indict them and, oh, yeah, then, and, then, and then here's all this evidence and you know we're still not going to indict him and even though we we lay all this out in front of you and you see that it's overwhelming that he should be indicted because i mean how for one if it was just eyewitnesses how many eyewitnesses is, is not enough or, or too much you have half a dozen people who are all saying basically the same thing he, he should have at least been arrested the first week this happened but it didn't happen they they have too much pride and that's fine and I don't, I don't believe that they believe that these people are going to react in a way that's going to be extreme. I, be, I believe that they believe they'll be able to contain everything that happens. They believe that's going to just happen in Ferguson. But I'm telling you right now, when it's announced that he's going to walk, it's going to tear up St. Louis, greater St. Louis. Not, not, not Ferguson, Greater St. Louis, the North Side, all the the safe areas, Clayton, Kirkwood, Ladue, all right now. Nobody is going to be exempt from feeling the impact of an announcement like that. And you can tell, you can look at the police tactics, how they come and they they they're nice one second or they're kind of you know subdued, and then the next second they they are so amped and so turned up and so out of control. I mean, they're, they're just really setting us up for for the fall. Everything that happened last night, 
even from watching it at home, I could tell that it was all a PR stunt. I put on my Twitter that I feel like last night, I feel like it was a, a, a draw. I feel like the protesters won because of course, it was legit that they, you know, they said that they're not gonna enforce the five second rule or whatever. What was a lie was the fact that he said that he didn't know that it existed when on West Flores and he were he was ordering people to tell us to keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Even Belmar said today that he didn't know it existed. But your whole squad is operating under this MO and you have no idea. That's hard to believe. I believe the fact that y'all saw the police pull back and just stand even closer to where they are right now and start loading up weapons and all that stuff. It's intimidation. It was it was it was it was orchestrated. I, I honestly to tell you the truth, I believe that somewhere in there they had a strategy board and they was like, this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna come out in ride gear, we're gonna load up guns, we're gonna be real aggressive, we're gonna stand off with these people, and then we're gonna have him come in as like a, a, a black savior to placate the people and to win the PR battle. The fact is, he came out here saying that about the, the five second rule because the ACLU had them in court yesterday and he just wanted to get in front of the judge's decision. Because we know the judge is going to say it's unconstitutional. So instead of them saying that and, and waiting on it, he figured, let's get out in front of this thing so it can make it seem like that we're being, you know, altruistic so it, we can get some points for that. Would no, you're just really trying to save your own tail and look good but the cameras so like I said once everything turns around and it will my concern is how will the the live streamers be treated that's my concern how will what the live streamers be treated out here in the midst of all by who the protesters because once there's going to be rioting going on there's going to be violence going on it's going to be bloodshed. It's going to be bloodshed. I, I mean, it's going to be bloodshed. I'm not going to get into details, but I know for a fact there's going to be bloodshed. And, and when that's happening, my concern is for you all safety because Here we go. you're going to feel compelled to get this. We you're going to feel compelled to get the story out. What's your but Twitter? At the same time, you say, Why chef? W-Y-Z-E chef. W-Y-Z-E. W-Y-Z-E chef. W-Y-Z-E chef. I'm yeah. Bella Echo. I think I'm following you.